Alex Stein in the building. Brian Time 99, dude. I'm just saying, you know, you're, I just, I just uh, reported your special for hate speech, dude. I don't know why you'd go after the WNBA predominantly. I love the WNBA. And lesbians. Dude, Brittany Griner is locked up in a Russian jail, dude. And Joe Biden will not save her, dude. And he's the best president. Like, I, I know. can't and sleep all, at night. I know. And all he's got to do is just give up, like, the most notorious Russian arms dealer that the U.S. has in jail. For, I know, dude, but how's that not a good they, deal to get the leading rebounder in the WNBA? <laughs> Dude, it's an incredible deal for us. We win the culture war that way. Like, so what? That guy sold some guns to, like, you know, a few ISIS members. Like, yeah. oh, what? I, you haven't? ISIS is so... That's so 2016 ISIS. So, I mean, Trump ended ISIS anyway. So, I mean, seriously, we need to get back to the WNBA being the number one sport in America, and we got to get Brittany Griner back. So, I'm What do you mean I'm get back? I, th- I thought it is the number one sport in America. It, well, I don't know if it is without Brittany. I mean, dude, she's, she's an iconic player, dude. She's six, and she actually, dude, what she did at Baylor in Waco, Texas. I mean, she she's she's one of the most beautiful, articulate women. That, she's probably going to be the next uh, vice president. You think of so? The United States, honestly. Who? Well, look at John McCain. He he was a POW. Look what happened to him. She basically so, is a POW at this point. She is. I mean, so what? She's smoking a little THC, concentrated THC. No big deal. I think she's on the Seattle. She's wherever she's, no, she's from, on Phoenix. That's legal. She's on the Phoenix Mercury. Well, I should have known that. I thought she got traded. It's hard to keep up with these ladies. I'm just so I'm. It's right tough. Now, I know. Well, they're just going through so much all the time. You know, where you're like, how can we keep up with their their career achievements when personally there's just so much going on? You know. Ooh. They're being targeted for political reasons, and like the fact that he's a smaller ball, that makes it more fun. I mean, I that is know. actually just, the I one really... thing because I really don't have a beef with the WNBA, but seriously though, they need to stop using a smaller ball. That is the one <laughs> thing I go like it's it is really in terms of the whole like we're trying to say like we're there's equality. That is the most offensive of the things, is that they well, legitimately use a smaller ball with a not smaller uh, hoop. Well, I mean, listen, everybody saw, uh, what was the movie where the person, um, where the guy played in the women's league? What was that called? Eddie? Not Eddie. Eddie uh, was the no, Eddie coach. was with Whoopi Goldberg where she's the coach. Well, there's Lady Bugs. That's one of the best movies ever. That was one of the best. But what was the one where the guy plays in the WNBA? Juana Man? Juana Man! Dude, we need another Juana Man to bring back the WNBA. Because this is a serious, this is a serious thing. People are going to say, oh, it's a joke, Alex. You made fun of Leah Thomas. Leah Thomas has done more for female swimming than any other female swimmer ever. I didn't even know female swimming was a sport. I mean, it's true. I mean, I, I mean, I can now name one female swimmer. <laughs> Leah <laughs> Dude, Thomas. That's a, thousand so. percent, that's a thousand percent increase on what you could on how many female <laughs> swimmers you could name. Yeah. So think about that. So that that's all the that's all the WNBA is lacking is a Joanna man. So if Shaq would just change his gender, her gender. I think we would. Oh, I think Shaq that would actually light save it up. our country. Oh yeah, I think that's a good idea. The weird thing too with the Brittany Griner thing is she's famous in Russia too. I, I wonder if they even if it, there's any sort of indication to Russian people that they've locked her up because she's probably almost more famous in Russia because they actually well, like women. She, they do, they like women's basketball like not ironically. Well, I think she gets paid a million dollars over there and like five hundred thousand here. So La- yeah, it's really, like less than right. fi- less than five hundred k, and she makes like yeah, well over a million. That's I mean that's why they go there. You know, it's like Latrell Sprewell. They got to feed their families. They can't feed their families on this paltry three hundred thousand dollars a year playing the WNBA. No, dude, no way. I mean, it's just I just I just don't know what we're gonna do as a country without Brittany Griner. Like we're literally losing the culture war. I just. It's really, it's just really frustrating. And then you go after the WNBA while they're already being attacked. I just, I almost think that you might be a Russian spy, Danny. I mean, my family is from Russia. You know, I actually thought in the past that maybe my father was a <laughs> Russian spy. He's not, but he's just, he's very like <laughs> just fairly soft spoken guy. I go, you could have a crazy double life. I don't know about. Yeah. Everybody thinks that their like parent is something that, you know, they don't know. It's funny that. That is because, like, I feel like my dad always, as a kid, he used to always joke that he had a second family. And, like, now I feel like you might have a second family, Danny. So really? It's kind of, I, yeah, I, he used to always joke. That That's actually. My dad would always be like, my other son is a way better athlete and say stuff <laughs> like that to me all the time. I 
where they used to say that about my grades, like my other son's a straight A student. And I'd be like, what other son? And he'd be like, don't worry about it. And that's true. That is a hundred percent true. Dude, I've always been actually really fascinated with the people. Cause it's not really something you can really do anymore to have two families. I think technology kind of ended that. But like the, the thing where like people legit used to have two different families that potentially never learned of each other. Well, okay. The last example I know of that is on the Howard Stern show, Sal Governale. It's like Sal and Richard. They do the yeah, prank yeah. calls. Yeah, yeah. Well, Sal, Sal's dad had a second family, and his and it, Sal. One of like the biggest things that haunts Sal is that his half brother that he never met when he was working at the pizzeria. He tells the story. Somebody called his dad, and his his half brother killed himself. He never met his half brother, so like oh, that really? like kind of haunts him. Yeah, that's like a true story. People are Howard Stern nuts. I mean, I'm for Howard Stern free. Yeah, yeah. yeah, dude. That's pretty wild. You're right. With the internet, with Facebook, dude, you can't have a second family. That's kind of kind of sucks for all those. Well, you had to be like a stuff. traveling salesman of some sort before. Like you have to be a, have a traveling like a consistent traveling gig where you could be like you know on the weekend you're always one place and during the week you're always like another place almost and to kind of keep the families separate and. That's why you join the carnival. I always kind of envied the carnies that got to just live on the trains and go from city to city. That's probably what I'm going to do if all else fails. Yeah. H- how how are play. things? How have things been going? Things are going good. Prime time 99. Things are actually going pretty good. We're in talks about doing a show very soon. Where so at? Where at? I know I've been now at the Blaze. We're going to be doing like a, a late night prime time Stein show. You know, obviously I'm going to have to get your ass on the show if we can say of that. Of course. Um, you know, you got to come down to Dallas and come be a guest. But yeah, dude. So hopefully, like I said, I actually sent the, the pitch in today with the sizzle reel. So things are moving fast on that. Um, so things are going good. And you know what I'm about to do? Uh, uh, I'm about to call into Paris, California with my buddy Cassidy. They're having a Zoom meeting. So I'm doing. I'm oh, that's what you're doing right now. I, 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 have they been yeah. have they been kind of cock blocking you a bit in person? I've, I've been seeing oh. some of your things where they're like, you're literally getting the fucking Alex. Like I said, you're getting like the Alex Stein rule. Like they're naming it after you. Dude, just... Danny, they don't. They, the last few places, cities, they won't turn on the face camera. So it's just being me filmed from the back. So it just doesn't <laughs> work. Dude. I'm getting the Alex Stein rule. Dude, I'm, I'm telling you. Carlson. I know, man. You got you got too big for your britches, if you will. I mean, that was pretty predictable, though, with how just meteoric and just how good the videos were, where you knew that they were gonna. Cause, you know, they're fucking scumbag politicians. You know, they're gonna make some yeah, well, unfair rule. Okay, well, you're 100 percent right, but listen, I still have not. I'm. I don't want to say I've peaked. If you're like, oh, you peaked. No, you haven't. You time. haven't even. You know, you're in the fucking Thank first you. inning, pal. You and Pete. Oh, I love you, Danny. You're so supportive. Okay, last thing before I go, I got to say this, though. So, Beto O'Rourke is having a, a, a town hall meeting in Dallas tomorrow. So, Cassidy and I, Cassidy Campbell and I are about to go raise hell. And, uh, you know, we're going to go there. And you know how he went yeah, and yeah. called out Governor Abbott? Like, like last week, you're saying. Thing. Exactly. We're going to go do it at his town hall meeting in Dallas. What does he so do be on right the look now? look out for that. What's he do? Is Say he trying again? to be a politician? He's not a politician currently, is he? Oh, yes, he is. He's running for governor. No, he, oh, he's he running for governor. Yes, but he has a chance because, listen, we're not even getting the great replacement, this and that, but Texas is a highly Hispanic place. Like, you know, I mean, it is, a, you know, people think it's like all white people. It's not. So, you know, the, the minorities have a strong uh, voting sector. So it's like, and they like Beto? Yeah, I mean, they just like liberals for whatever reason. Even though Beto is, you know, he's Irish. He goes by Beto at work, but he's not Hispanic. He's just, he lives in El Paso, and his family's like multimillionaire. So huh. Beto works a fraud as they come, but you never know. With these politicians, they're all puppets put up by, like, you know, the left. It doesn't matter. If you're the left or the right, people have so much identity politics this day and age, and especially with the Roe versus Wade and all this crazy stuff going on, you just never know what can happen, Danny. Um. Yeah. We don't want Beto, but but Abbott stinks too. So we're just screwed. The left wing and the right wing are on the same bird. So yeah, either way, it's, it's, it's gonna poop on us. Yeah, that's exactly that's how it was. I will say, you know, that I didn't know that Greg Abbott. He has really good camera people because I didn't know he was in a wheelchair until three months ago. <laughs> just, well, dude, you are from Canada. How I guess. You know well, you just the way they frame. They always frame him, and then there's no like wide shots. And so I just, I remember yeah, seeing him. Right. I go like, I'm like, D- did he have surgery? Uh, I honestly thought he like tore his ACL. And then I went and looked it up and I was like, <laughs> oh God, he's just a well, classic dude, okay. thing too. Just like the most unlucky thing. The guy went for a jog 
and a fucking branch of a tree just broke and fell on him. I know. You know what's crazy? That happened to my friend's sister in college. Like she was actually really injured. Now she can walk. She's fine. But in a storm, a tree fell on her when she was trying to move her car. And it's just random. I guess when a tree falls, it just falls so fast. Oh, for sure. Right? And I mean, what the, the weight of it do? is like. But also, it's like he wasn't even in a storm. He was just like on a jog. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. His is even. His is even, hers is kind of crazy because she was trying to move her car. But dude, the we, the world is weird. I mean, dude, with my luck, I kind of want a tree to fall on me. But I just want to nah. say this: great standard special. I'm Thank kidding. You, of course, man. I don't want that to happen. But but great special. I really loved it. Zany's in Nashville. That was a great club too. And yeah, dude, you crushed best. it. So uh, thanks, Don. So uh, I hope it gets. I hope it gets a bunch of views and shares. So keep crushing it. And yeah, uh, thank dude. you for letting me call. I'll, dude, thank you anytime. I'll be in touch. Danny. Al- Alex Stein, VIP on low value mail. Always. <laughs> You're too nice. Always. All right, okay, take care, buddy.